girls, we meet again. Today, we're going to learn mathematics year 5 on the topic money. Basic operation involving money for year 5. Now, let's look at learning standard 3.1.1. Soft addition number sentences up to three values of money with sum within 1 million. We are going to look at 3.1.2, soft subtraction number sentences up to two values of money from one value of money within one million ringgit. Now, um, in topic money for year five, we have addition uh, in money, subtraction, division, multiplication, and also financial literacy. All right, look at addition first, all right? Now, before you add in, uh, we have to remember that we are going to follow place value, okay? When you add in a number, like for example, the question goes, find the sum of 745,519 ringgit and 143,251 ringgit. All right, we are going to add in the sen first, then only ringgit. But according to this question, we don't have sen. So we're just going to add in the ringgit starts from the place value of ones. All right, that will be nine. Place value of tens will be one. Hundreds will be five. Thousands, another five. Ten thousands, four. Hundred thousand, seven. Then you will write the symbol RM. Okay, plus with the next number, uh, start with place value ones, that will be one, tens, that is five, hundreds, two, thousands, three, place value of ten thousands, four, place value of hundred thousands, one, and then don't forget the symbol RM, and then the plus sign, all right, nine plus one is ten, we're going to put one on top, place value of tens, five plus one plus one is seven, 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 plus 3 is 8, 4 plus 4 is 8, 7 plus 1 is 8. Alright, don't forget your units, boys and girls. Alright, 888,770 ringgit. Alright, let's look at the second question, addition. Calculate the total of 291,319 ringgit and 65 cent and 345,651 ringgit and 10 cent. All right, as usual, like we added just now, but now don't forget we have a ringgit and cent. So the two last number is actually at the hundreds place value and at tens place value. All right, so five, we put it at hundreds place value. 6 at 10th place value and don't forget the decimal point that is actually dividing the ringgit and the sen. So 65 sen I have written. So now the first 9 is 9 ringgit is in the place value of 1s. Then 1 at the place value of 10s. Then 3 at the place value of 100s. 1 again as the place value of 1000s. 9 at the place value of 10,000s and 2 at the place value of 100,000s. All right, so we're going to add on to the next number. All right, this number we have 10 cents. So for hundreds, we put the number 0. For tens, we put number 1. And don't forget the decimal point that is the point that separates ringgit and cent. So at the place value of 1s, we have 1. Then tens, we have five. Hundreds, we have six. Thousands, we have five. Ten thousands, we have four. Hundred thousands will be three. And then don't forget the symbol RM and the plus sign. All right, now we are going to plus. Five plus zero is five. Six plus one, seven. Nine plus one is ten. So we are going to put zero and one. Uh, we're going to bring to the place value of tens. So we have seven now. 6 and 3, 9, 5 and 1, 6, 
9 and 4, 13. We're going to put 3 and we're going to put 1 on top of the place value, 100 thousands. So the last answer, don't forget your symbol, RM. All right, so the answer is 636,970 ringgit and 75 cents. Don't ever read the RM, eh? all right, boys? You don't read the RM. So you just read it as 636,970 ringgit and 75 cents. All right, let's look at the question with unknown in addition. Okay, we're just going to learn the method. All right, look at it. It's very simple. H plus 20, 12 ringgit equals 54 ringgit. What is the value of H? So you just have to remember the algebra method to find H equals 54 ringgit. To bring 12 ringgit over to the other side, you're going to change the symbol to minus. So H equals 54 ringgit minus 12 ringgit. The last answer is 42 ringgit. All right, when you come to standard five, value of money is quite big, plus the sin. All right, so normally you have about three numbers. Uh, 12 ringgit plus M plus 25 ringgit equals 60 ringgit. What is the value of M? The same method, 60 ringgit minus with 12 ringgit and minus 25 ringgit, you will get the answer. M equals... 23 ringgit, sorry. Alright, look at this question. Unknown in addition, 246,750 ringgit plus unknown equals 610,520 ringgit. So as simple as this, a simple example, 4 plus 7 equals 11, 7 equals 11 minus 4. So we're going to use the big number, 610,525 ringgit minus 246,750 ringgit. So the last answer is 363,775 ringgit. Alright, boys and girls, now you can try this question. You can print screen of these questions or you can find it in your Year 5 textbook. Alright, now we are going to learn subtraction in money. Okay, the same thing goes uh, with subtraction. is the same thing. If you look here, you are going to minus the same than the ringgit. Alright, the tips that are given here. But of course, the first question we don't have with uh, uh, same. So we're just going to take away 143,251 ringgit from 745,519 ringgit. So the big number minus the small number. Again, when you're going to write, you're going to write according to the place value. You're going to start with ones. That is, you put the number nine here. One at place value of tens. Five at place value of hundreds. Another 5 at place value of 1000s, 4 at place value of 10,000s, 7 at place value of 100,000s and the symbol RM. Why do we need to start from the right? Because we want to avoid writing uh, the value uh, wrongly. You have to go by the uh, decimal point if you have a uh, sen, ringgit and sen. And if you, are, you don't have a decimal point, you have to go by the place value. So when you're going to take away 143,251 ringgit, you're going to start with 1 at the place value of 1s. Then 5, 2, 3, 4, 1, and the symbol RM. Alright, then of course now you're going to have the symbol of minus or subtract. Alright, 9 minus 1 is 8. Okay, 1 cannot minus 5, you're going to borrow from the place value of hundreds. So 11, 11 minus 6 is, 11 minus 5 is 6. Okay, 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 minus 3 is 2, 4 minus 4 is 0, 7 minus 1 is 6. So the last answer is 602,268 ringgit.
All right, look at another uh, question. What if you're going to subtract from a number with a lot of zeros? For example, 700,000 ringgit uh, minus 135,094 ringgit. Okay, you can minus the normal method, but teacher want to teach you a different method that is you're going to minus 1 from the 700 and minus 1 from uh, 135,094 ringgit. All right, we're going to minus 1 from each number. From 700,000 ringgit, we minus 1. 135,094 ringgit, we minus 1. So, it became very easy to do. All right, because you don't have to borrow anything from other uh, place value. All right, so the last answer is 564,906 ringgit. All right, let's look at this question. This question, we're doing subtraction more than two numbers. All right, for example, 284,590 ringgit minus 74 ringgit minus 23,806 ringgit and 75 sen. So in this question, we have ringgit and sen. Let's look at method one. Method one, we're going to minus the bigger number first. That is minus 23,806 ringgit and 75 sen first. All right, before you minus, make sure that you have enough to minus. All right, zero cannot minus five. So we're going to borrow from the zero next to it. Okay, the zero next to it is the place value of um, uh, tens and it doesn't have value. So it has to borrow from a zero place value of ones. All right, then from here, we still have to borrow from the place value of tens. All right, so here we can minus already, but look at the next digit. Next digit is 5, we cannot minus 8, so we have to borrow from place value of thousands. So become 3. Alright, 8 can minus 2, 2 can minus 0, so we can straight away get the answer. That is 260,783 ringgit and 25 cent. So now we are going to minus 74 ringgit. Look here, 74 ringgit need to be written as 74.00. And look here that all the decimal points are in the same row, all right, in one row. So don't arrange the decimal point wrongly. Then we have to minus 25 cents, we can minus 0, 0, 3, we can minus, minus 4. So we're going to borrow from a place value of tens. So balance is 7 and then the rest we can do. So the answer is 260,709 ringgit and 25 cent. All right, let's look at method two. Method two, we're going to minus ringgit with ringgit first. All right, we're going to minus. So here, very simple when you minus. Okay, 10, 10 minus, uh, 10 minus 4 is 6. Alright, so here is balanced with 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. And then the rest, you're going to just write it back as normal. Alright, then we're going to mine, use the number 284 ringgit, 500, sorry, 284,516 ringgit, uh, 0, 0 cent, minus with 23,806 ringgit, 75 cent. Alright, here we're going to do um, borrowing, alright, 0, we are zero from the place value of um sorry this place value of uh hundreds borrow from the place value of tens all right so then you still have to borrow from the place value of ones and then borrow again from the place value of tens and then five, uh, five cannot minus eight we have to borrow from the place value of thousands so balance is three all right then you will still get the answer two hundred sixty thousand seven hundred and nine ringgit and 25 cent two hundred sixty thousand seven hundred nine ringgit and 25 cent Alright, now we're going to do unknown in subtraction. Alright, just like how we did for addition. 
we are going to use simple method to uh, make you understand. All right, that will be 96 ringgit minus D equals to 72 ringgit. All right, D is the unknown. What is the value of D? Okay, so 96 minus 72. Why do we minus 72? We are bringing 72 from the left, from the right to the left. So uh, the symbol of um, uh, plus become minus. So 96 ringgit minus 72. The minus sign of uh, minus D uh, will become a D, a value, a positive value. So 96 minus 72 equals to D. So what is D? D is actually 24 ringgit. All right, let's look at B. N minus 56 ringgit equals 28 ringgit. What is the value of N? All right, N equals 28 ringgit plus 56 ringgit. Minus now has become plus. Because N is supposed to be the biggest number. Alright, so 84 plus 56 is 140 ringgit. N equals 140 ringgit. Alright, so let's look at this question. How much need to be subtracted from 390,236 ringgit? So it will become 210,132 ringgit. Alright, so we're going to write the number sentence first. Alright, 390,236 ringgit. So, uh, we write it as number first. We didn't put in the RM. So, when we're doing calculation, we put in the RM. Okay, so the answer is 180,104 ringgit. Alright, look at this example 6. Example 6 is the same a simple example dash minus 2 equals 6 all right so 6 plus 2 is actually 8 so a simple calculation is done for you 465,318 ringgit plus 110,620 ringgit is 575,938 ringgit yes the numbers are very big but you still have to read it as it is in ringgit and sen. So the last answer is written here, 575,938 ringgit. Alright, boys and girls. So this will be the questions that you can try to do. Calculate. A question for uh, number 1, 2 and 3. You can print screen to get the answer, uh, questions or you can look in your textbook, year 5 textbook. Alright, so enjoy learning and doing questions on Ringgit and Sen, Addition and Subtraction for Money. See you. See you again in the next lesson. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.